Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a tutorial plus my first impressions of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial and Moonlight. If you are interested in seeing what I think of these products, then stay tuned. And let's get on with the tutorial. So first we're going to start with our eyes. I have done my left eye already. So we're going to prime with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Just put that on our lids. We're going to set that with the Too Faced Naturally Matte Palette, and I'm using that white shade on the top called Heaven. I'm just going to take this fluffy blending brush and start blending Cashmere Bunny into my crease. The reason we're using this gray tone neutral color is because we have a lot of cooler tones going on our lid so we don't want to use a super warm transition color I'm gonna take this wet and wild comfort zone palette and we're gonna take this shade right here this green shade right here labeled eyelid but we're not using it on our eyelids this is a Zoeva 224 defined crease brush that I'm gonna use and we're gonna take that and put it in our crease kind of above where we put that original color Next, we are going in with the this shade right here. It is the definer shade. These don't have names. This is very similar to MAC's blue-brown pigment. And this is a MAC 217 brush. And we're just going to take that and put it all over our lid. I'm actually going to take some MAC Fix Plus and just spray the brush a little bit so we get more of that blue shade coming through instead of just kind of the purple underlay of it. Let's see. Much better. Then I'm going to go back in with the Naturally Matte Palette from Too Faced and we're going to take Sexpresso, this dark shade right here, and just kind of buff that into the outer V and crease area and then go back in with that definer shade and just touch up what was kind of knocked off of the lid shade next I'll put this brow bone color right here on my brow bone and this is a Sigma e52 then we'll take some makeup remover wipes these are just from Neutrogena and just kind of sharpen out that edge of the eyeshadow so just take it on your finger and wipe upwards to make the eyeshadow kind of like a cat eye next I'm just going to prime my face with the Smashbox photo finish primer water then I'm gonna take this covergirl true blend face primer for oily skin and just put that in my t-zone actually it's really runny and then we get to the fun part these are the cover fx custom enhancer drops i got moonlight and celestial just because i thought these would match my skin tone the best i have been having these sit on my desk for a couple days now and i haven't played with them and it's killed me so this is celestial and dan this is moonlight no <laughs> this is moonlight so as you can see these are droppers and I'm sure you've heard about these but they basically are like drops of liquid metal at celestial this one is moonlight I'm actually going to mix celestial in with my foundation I'm gonna take the Clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer and just kind of make a little concoction on my hand I love this foundation by the way, so I'm gonna take a beauty blender Then I'm gonna take celestial put a couple I'll put like two drops in because I feel like that's all I'll need mix them together Oh, I got makeup on my watch then just blend it out I'm trying to be really quick so that this doesn't dry down. I should have thought ahead Oh, it's making it really dewy and pretty. I really need to clean this beauty blender. And I know I'm oily skinned, but I wanted to try this. So I don't know if you can see, but my face is super really dewy. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Use that beauty blender again to buff it in. 
don't like to put too much concealer underneath my eye just because I feel like it, it can look kind of cakey. Make sure we only go up to that line that we created. Oh yeah, very pretty. I'm gonna set the under eyes with this RCMA No Color Powder. I love you, but you're so messy. Today was a bad day to wear black. This is a Morphe M438 brush. And we do want to stay away from the tops of our cheeks because that's where we're gonna put the Cover FX highlighters. And I'm actually going to use Moonstone for my highlights since I put Celestial in my foundation. Wow, that is pure metallic. And use a beauty blender again. This is really pretty. And the thing is, I barely have any on my sponge. What are you doing here? Uh, oh yeah really pretty. I like it so far. Just because I get oily, I'm gonna set the rest of my face, not the highlight, uh, with that same RCMA No Color Powder. And this is the Too Faced Mr. Right brush. That is just, that just makes your skin look really, really wet. See, I like the moonlight. I kind of can't believe it. I didn't realize it was gonna be this intense. Okay, so I like them a lot. I think Celestial is gonna look really pretty mixed into foundation for lighter skin tones, and maybe Moonstone would be really pretty mixed in with more medium tan skin tones in your foundation. I'll actually swatch them on my hand in case you didn't see them well enough. I'm tempted not to even set this with powder. Okay, so one little dot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that is Celestial, and then this one that I'm gonna put on my hand is Moonlight. Mm -hmm. Celestial almost has a bit of a pink undertone and Moonlight is definitely more champagne. I would say this is kind of like a liquid version of Champagne Pop. I'll do a comparison. I'm starting to this side of my hand and moving over. This is Celestial, this is Moonlight, and then that's Champagne Pop. So Champagne Pop does have a bit more gold in it. So this is definitely more champagne. Okay, well if you're interested in seeing the rest of this tutorial, uh, I guess we'll keep going. First impressions, I really enjoy these even for oily skin. This doesn't even look like a legit highlight It just looks like your cheeks are wet like there's no shimmer So that's my first impressions on those guys if you want to continue and see how this tutorial turns out feel free to keep watching if not That was my first impressions of the cover FX custom cover drop See you later for the people that are leaving for the people that are saying Thank you <laughs> I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium deep. And this is a benefit little brush for the bronzing. This actually goes really good underneath that highlight. I mean, I'm really brushing this in and the highlight has not moved. This is gonna be the highlight of everyone's summer, guaranteed. I'm gonna take this Too Faced Love Flush blush in Baby Love, cause it's a pretty mouth. And this is a Morphe E4. I can't even believe it. I am completely going over the highlight with something else and it is staying in place. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick off camera. If you want to see a tutorial on how I do my brows, then let me know down below. And then I'm setting them with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm gonna go in with this Sexpresso shade right here that we use on our outer V and just put that under the lower lash line as tight as I can get it. Then let's just buff that out. Then line the lower lash line. I'm gonna use, just with any black, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Highliner because it is my favorite. Then use some mascara, just pile it on. So these are what the eyes look like with the mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And then for lips, I am going to use a combination I've been loving. I've actually been using this combination a lot lately. This is the Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then this is the Laura Mercier Lip Glaze in Bare Naked. And so I put this one on top of this one. This is a little baby one I got for a birthday gift. It's really pretty. Then I'll put the lip glaze on top. 
I'm gonna finish with this makeup setting spray from Scandinavia. This is the oil control one. It smells so good. It smells like a spa. And this is the final look that I came up with. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you can see my future videos. I do have a Twitter account. It is Colorado underscore Kate one. The same with Instagram actually. So don't forget to follow me on those platforms if you want to see more of me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And let's get on with the tour. We're gonna take the Too Faced. These shadows do not have shade. Hi. I'm gonna set the my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to test out whether or not I found a beauty blender dupe. There's tons of these videos on YouTube, but I found this little flawless blend urban studio.